morning. Let's start with the story of two trees in a village. Uh, one tree was very beautiful, right next to the river, green, had lots of leaves, had lots of shades, was very popular with the villagers. They have their religious ceremonies there, their marriages, everything will be celebrated and the children will be running around the tree. And then there, this was old looking tree far away from the river because of lack of water. It was ugly, there were no leaves. It looked like a stick. And the villagers were waiting for this tree to die. One day a storm came, the villagers celebrated the fact that the old tree will be finally gone and they can burn the wood and they can have a party under the, under the tree next to the river. To the surprise when they woke up, the tree next to the river was gone and the old tree was still standing. And the reason obviously was that the tree next to the river was getting water very easily, therefore the roots were shallow, unlike the other tree for which the roots were deep. And the first gust of wind, the tree was gone. Unfortunately, HR is the tree next to the river. HR looks pretty. HR seems to be doing things but if you really ask an employee, it wishes HR were dead. <laughs> and the reason it is important to look at the mirror and face the truth is to ask the question in terms of what is the reason for your existence. With all the disruption going around in the world, your CEO is thinking about your role. And I have three questions for you. What was the net salary increase of HR people over the last five years compared to line functions? What is the increase in the entry level salary of HR people coming into any industry compared to the line function? And how many HR people have been replaced with line function people taking on HR roles? If you can't smell the obsolescence of HR in front of you, and you can't see that the HR the way we see today will be dead by 2020, then you have no right to be an HR person. You need to wake up. And all this disruption happening around, which Mohan talked about, is only gonna to add to your misery. But I'm confused in terms of why are we talking about disruption and why are we talking about obsolescence and why am I predicting that HR will be dead by 2020? If you look at the example of Trump elections, and if those articles are to be believed, what really happened was somebody did psychoassessment of millions of people, predicted their behavior based on stimuli of false news which will be given to them, converted them into sleeper cells, built credibility by giving them the false news, and then manipulated their minds at the appropriate time to making them believe in a certain fashion so that they would vote in a certain fashion. So the entire election results were manipulated because somebody understood somebody's mind. The true profession which is trained to understand the mind is HR. HR is a science of understanding the human being. HR is the, has been trained to get more out of each individual unit of human effort. More out of each human effort, unit of human effort. So who should be the data scientist? Who should be doing psychoassessment? Who should be predicting the next wave of change which an organization wishes to achieve should have a kind of people versus B kind of people? Who should be giving inputs into development of human mind over a long period of 20, 30 years and employee exist in the organization? So if HR has been trained to do this, then why is HR intellectually lazy? Why it is behaving like that tree with those beautiful leaves, sacking people, doing appraisals, doing you know, responses to employees, none of that is important in the role I of a, of a CEO or, or of the board. What you were really trained for is what you need to do. For that, you have to 
believe that you are the old tree with deeper roots, deeper conviction in your own science. And unless you have that, I can promise you that you will be one of the obsolete forces in the world, exactly like the Kodak film is disrupted by the digital camera. So my takeaway from this conference as you sit about it or hear this on, on digital media is all which is happening around us is great. But protect yourself from becoming obsolete, otherwise you'll be dead soon. Thank you.